Let's give it up this time for Reels, Mark Burke. Thank you, Daniel. What's up, Sacramento? How are we doing tonight? Yeah. Having troubles with the microphone. Oh man, I know I'm excited to be here, not just because Johnny is recording his album, but because I have been having the weirdest week. Uh, today, my brother and I went out to get lunch, and halfway through lunch, my brother decided to ask me, Mark, are you ever going to grow into a man's body? <laughs> and I think the answer is no. <laughs> that is never going to happen, okay? I have way more in common with being a 15-year-old girl. Uh, for example, number one, I love being the little spoon. <laughs> number two, I can still fit in size double zero pants. And number three, I don't like anal. <laughs> and we just played two truths and a lie. <laughs> Uh, on Tuesday, I was walking home to my apartment, and a man walked up to me and said, Sir, I don't mean to bother you, but I'm here with my family from Memphis, Tennessee, and we're short $8 of the Motel 6. Do you think you can help us out? And I said, I'm sorry, man, I don't have $8. And then he said to me, How do you not have $8? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I should ask you that question. Because who drives from Memphis, Tennessee to Sacramento, California with their family to stay at a Motel 6 and to have that amazing vacation get cut short by $8? <laughs> How was he gonna explain that to his family? Was he just gonna walk up to his kids and be like, kids, I know it's been a long three days. We've driven over 2,000 miles through five states. But it looks like we're not going to be able to stay at that swanky Motel 6, I promise you. <laughs> but the good news is, I think you kids are finally old enough to find out what prostitution is. <laughs> I know, he's a horrible father. <laughs> but then he took it one step further and he asked me, you have a credit card, right? I said, yeah. He's like, well, let's take a trip to the ATM. Who are you? <laughs> like, at that point, I was so fed up with him. Because he asked me for $8 and didn't even offer me a blowjob. <laughs> okay, not that I was going to take it, because let's be honest, who can trust an $8 blowjob? It's just a polite business gesture. Maybe if he had offered me said blowjob, that whole thing would have went way differently. Like, oh, an $8 blowjob, you say? Well, how about this? Here's $10, we never see each other again. <laughs> that would have been way better for him. When I was in 8th grade, uh, one of my teachers thought it would be a fun project to write a letter to our future selves. Uh, did anybody else ever do that when they were in 8th grade? A couple people? Well then you can attest to this, fuck that time capsule. <laughs> that was like the worst thing ever. I remember I got this letter seriously three weeks ago, and I was so excited when I got the letter. I opened it up, I sparked up a joint. First thing. Oh, you got it. I'm reading past Mark. This is crazy metaphysical shit going on. But I read the letter and it's just like, hey Mark, how's it going? I was like, I'm doing pretty good, Mark. Just enjoying a blast from the past, sparking a bone. First question. You're not smoking weed, are you? Don't judge me, 8th grade Mark. You don't know what life is like yet. It gets different. But then I went on and I was like, what college are you going to? MIT grad school or Brown? Uh, I went to Sac State for a semester and a half. <laughs> I knew enough was enough. And it was just, as the letter went on, I realized I had all these hopes and dreams that were way up here that were never going to be accomplished. Like, I really wish if I had a time machine with only one use, I could go back in time to right before I wrote that letter and just explain to myself, Mark, stop trying so hard. Okay, you've got these goals that are way up here. Let's tone it back down here to reality. Like, you're thinking that you can be a rocket scientist. I want to let you know Taco Bell isn't even going to be an option. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Like, you think that you're good at math right now, but that's because you're in pre-algebra. Okay? It gets way harder. Especially because in three years, you're going to discover marijuana, everything's going to change. <laughs> Have you ever tried taking a calculus test while high? It's near impossible. 
Usually because you're still in the parking lot smoking. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight.